Hello everybody and welcome back to my Romulan playthrough in Star Trek Online as a Riemann character for the first time playing a tactical career. I want to thank you all for the information you gave me about starships and uh, suggestions on what I am flying and what I should be flying in the future and so forth uh, as far as tier number goes. And guess what I found out guys? There is actually a web page that does show every starship and what tier that starship is and what tiers are playable at different levels. It is, of course, the uh, wiki, the Star Trek Online wiki, and I will link a, uh, make a link to it in the description so you can check it out there. But what I have found out, and get this, my ship that I am flying, the uh, Hafe Assault Warbird, is actually a tier 5 ship. So it's kind of strange, but it is technically a tier 5 ship. However, there are higher tier 5 ships. There are the Sea Store tier 5 ships, which are even better. So there's a basically like two tiers of tier 5 ships. It's a little confusing, but if you read the webpage, you'll see how it's clearly marked. And there are certain tier 5 ships that are available at level 40, which is this one. And then there are certain tier 5 ships that you can only play when you're level 50. And so that's what confused me before, and that's basically what I found out is this ship I'm flying was one of those that you could um, play at level 40. And then the, uh, the next tier of ship at level 50 is still tier 5 ships, but it's just a level, you have to be level 50 to fly that ship. Which is very interesting. Um, kind of confusing. And I'm looking for the ship repair guy. I guess he's not down here. Uh, so, that is interesting. So basically what I'm going to do, and what I've decided to do, is I'm level 48 now. Is at level 50, I will get one of those level 50 tier 5 ships. So at level 50, I will still be flying a tier 5 ship. But here's the difference with those tier 5 ships at level 50. They can be upgraded to what's called tier 5 U or tier 5 upgrade. And that's what makes them different. So this, this Hafe that I have is a level 40 tier 5 ship. But it cannot be upgraded to tier 5 U. It is only tier 5. But at level 50, the tier 5 level 50 ships, those start at tier 5 and can be upgraded to tier 5 U. And so that is what really separates them, is that those ships are upgradable to Tier 5 U. So what I'm going to do, because I want to experience the most ships I can in this game on the Romulan faction as I play it, is I'm going to get one of those upgradable Tier 5 ships at level 50. Even though I could fly a Tier 6 ship at level 50, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to fly another Tier 5 ship, an upgrade to what I have now, at level 50 so that I can have experience flying more Romulan ships because that's what I'm after in this game uh, playing this specifically this uh, character here is giving me an opportunity to really learn and experience uh, more Romulan ships so I want to do that so at level 50 I'm just gonna go with that tier 5 ship that is upgradable to a tier 5 U, and I may even upgrade it to tier 5 U, and that will be my level 50 to level 60 ship so for 10, 10 levels there, I will fly another ship above the Hafe, but it won't be tier 6. And then when I hit level 60 on this character, then I will finally get do the tier 6 ship. And of course, level 65 is the new max level cap in this game, so we can even go further with leveling. Uh, but the ship I will fly will be level 60 at that point. Um, because a tier 6 ship at these missions that I'm playing now is just really overkill. But that'll give me more time to play with some ships I haven't used before. So that's the whole idea. I'm, I've kind of chosen the right path here for me. I'm going to uh, just continue using this ship for the next two levels. Then I will get another Tier 5 ship, but it will be upgradable to Tier 5 U, and it will be better than the Hafe. And I'll fly that for 10 levels until 60, and then I'll get a Tier 6 ship. And I think that's the best way to do it. Again, I'm going to link that webpage in the description, so check that out, and you will see where all these ships fall in line in terms of tiers and levels that they're playable at. So, hope that clears that up, but I took some time and did that research so that I could figure out 
what ships I'm going to use in the future. But right now, I am looking for the ship repair man, and I do not know where he is in here in the embassy. But I need to repair my uh, ship damage. Maybe it's on the other side. Anybody? Anybody? Dang, where is the ship healer on this thing? I must have missed him somewhere. It's got to be back in the shipyard, right? Where is that darn ship healer? Okay, you are shuttle information. Oh, maybe over here. Yes, there we are. Repair ship injuries. I took damage last time, so... There we go. Now we can do the next mission. Which is going to be Spin the Wheel. A deep cover intelligence operative on Drazana Station needs your help. I need your assistance with a rather delicate situation. We have an intelligence operative undercover at Drazana. Her astute observations have given us the edge in several critical engagements in the neutral zone. 22 hours ago, this operative activated an emergency subspace beacon. Zamara would only contact me in this manner if she was about to be discovered. I need you to go to Drazana, find Zamara, and assist her. So let's do that. Everything. And we'll just transwarp there this time. Reminder, I am playing on advanced difficulty. So the missions will be more difficult. But this one is going to be all ground mission here. Welcome to Joss Hopefully I can remember that order that you're supposed to go in the uh, hall in the hollow suite room. Question Belen. Belen is over there. Going the opposite direction, of course. That's great. Get your Comet Cocktails! 4.7% discount for the next three minutes! Welcome to Drosana Station! The home. Have you tried the Comet Cocktail? It's. <laughs> aren't we all? Her name is Zamara. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know Zamara. Maybe she. Yeah, I'm sure we can. In fact, I feel my memory. Go to the cargo. Okay, remember I did say that I was going to do these missions at an accelerated pace given that I've done them a subjillion times and uh, I want to just get through them. I will be looking for any differences since I'm playing a Riemann, but other than that, these missions here, I definitely just want to get through. I hope I can remember this thing. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. Okay, um... I guess we need to scan everything first. Before we reroute, I guess we need to go scan everything. Okay. Scan... No, 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 don't reroute, don't reroute. Scan...
Okay, now we need to realign the flow. Let's see if I can remember this. I probably cannot, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I might mess up somewhere, but I think you start with replicators. Now, I forgot where to go next. Crap. Shoot, what's next? Darn it, I forgot the third of the next one. Okay, it isn't that. Let's go here. 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 Nope. Okay, I think we go to the back then. So here. 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 And then to the back. Defense grid. No. I failed somewhere. What did I fail? Okay, maybe. Maybe back here and then there and back. Nope. Dang, what is what is it? Then it's back here. That's right. And now is it environment or the first one? I forget. No, it's that one and then back to this one. Got it. Woo. Took me a few tries, but I got it. I hate that puzzle. I hate it. Get your Comet Cocktails! 4.7% discount for the Welcome next three minutes! Welcome to Drosana State! Have you tried the Comet co They are! And I am exceeding fine! Okay, let's go talk to Zamara. Be careful. They're, I'm not in the mood for a chat right now. Find out who is watching Stop. me. I'm not safe. How could you know that? You know. There is... Play Dabo. Can't you see I'm busy? No, wrong thing. Can't you see I'm busy losing all? Can't you? See? Where's the Dabo initiative thing? I want to play Dabo. Why can't I play Dabo? Oh, it's right there. Play Dabo. Spin the Watch wheel the and win. Not the girl. Dabo. <gasps> All right, we did that. I'm not in the mood for a chat. You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to leave this place to the ghost. Watch. Okay. We got that. Return to ship and go hey, to the space hey, station. Again, I know I'm just zipping through this. Welcome to Josanna. If you want to see all this dialogue, you can watch previous playthroughs I've done where I do take the time to read that dialogue. But I've just played it so many times, I don't want to right now. So I'm just moving on. We're going to go to the station and get the weapon thing. 
take care of that. And we'll go into the Klingon station because we are aligned with the KDF. Normally we would go to K7 if we were aligned with Starfleet. Yeah, we've just got so many missions to go through that I really don't want to spend a lot of time on some of them because um, otherwise it'll just take way too long. But I mean, we've got a ton. Remember, I want to play every single mission on this character. And so that's what I'm doing in this playthrough. But some of these missions, they just take a little too long to read all the dialogue. So I'm just going to kind of skip through it as quickly as I can at this point. Until maybe we get to the later stuff, you know, the Gamma Quadrant stuff and all that, the new stuff. Because I really want to get to uh, level 50 so I can get to the next ship and have fun upgrading a ship. I love doing that. Consult research lead Bayeller. Bayeller. B. Eller. You are Minbat. You need something? I found evidence of Davidians in the neutral zone. I know. Kamen has been keeping me informed. I have an item that might help. It's a prototype weapon that was found on the USS DeWitt. I will need to make some modifications to make it useful against Davidians, but that's nothing I can't handle. The weapon is called a Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. If my changes work, the weapon's secondary effect will be devastating against phase-shifted Davidians. I'll send the finished weapon on to Kamen when I'm done. Fight well. The Davidians have no honor, and they think of nothing but their own hunger. You have a mighty battle ahead of you. I... I'm ready for it. Message from ship. Don't know why it's not completing here. Did I find another bug? Please tell me I did not. Ah. Hello. I have no access to anything or anyone. Well, let's beam up and back down. I think I encountered another bug. No dialogue option. What do you do when there's no dialogue option? There you go. Report to neutral zone contact. Zamara has always had an excessive imagination. Flighty, as the humans might say. Still, if she is safe and willing to continue to work for the Empire, You've done well. I am more concerned about these ghosts, she mentioned. You already found evidence of Davidians in the neutral zone. They could be at Drozana Station as well. According to Zamara, one Klingon has already died. No more will fall on my watch. Belair sent me a weapon that might be of use to you. Use it well. Okay, we will take it. Everything Congratulations, is for Admiral. the Empire. Awesome. So we've got our new weapon to help us. And uh, I will probably go ahead and equip it here. We can utilize it in the next mission. Or in the missions where we're going to fight the Davidians anyway. Good. Alright, so we're moving right along here.
So that was spin the wheel. Not a very long mission when you don't go through all the dialogue anyway. Where is it? Right here. So we got that out of the way and now we've got our little weapon thing and we can go do what lies beneath. Which is the creepy episode. The spooky one. And we will play that in the next episode. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one.